And we begin tonight with that oil outlook. Prices are nearing $50 per barrel for the first time in six months. That's right. Local 2's Don Log tells us why experts say the glut is a good sign for recent college grads looking for jobs in that industry. Don leads us off live from the control room tonight. Don? Yeah, guys, some say the worst is over for the oil downturn, meaning more jobs for recent college grads are looking to get their feet wet in some black gold. Last week, we said goodbye to the college class of 2016, and Goldman Sachs says we can finally say goodbye to cheap oil. They were very accurate on their call. Tall City economist Mickey Cargyle agrees. The worst is, looks like it's over. We never know for sure, but we assume that it is. The global investment firm suggests oil prices will reach $50 a barrel in the second half of the year, meaning demand is turning around and jobs also looking up. Especially for those in the class of 2016, hoping to get into the industry. I say there's always hope for people that are willing to work hard. Cargyle and Goldman agree that the oil market is rebalancing, and this time it's not a false source of hope. Midland College Dean of Community Relations Rebecca Bell says that's exactly what energy technology professors were told at a recent meeting. They were told that yes, there are indeed positions out there in the oil and gas industry for college graduates. She says some oil companies are devoted to hiring college grads, so Midland College is optimistic this graduating class won't have to worry about the downturn. There's actually a lot of potential out there for jobs. Making this farewell not so hard for the Permian Basin. Now, Cargyle believes Goldman is accurate on their call because he says in the past their predictions have been pretty spot on. And today, oil ended at about $47 a barrel, and that's the most it's been in about six months. So who knows, guys, maybe it really is looking up. Live in the control room, Don Log, Local 2 News. Some optimism tonight. Don, thanks for that.